man, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. We got a school on them in this bitch, man. Big school, man. Let loose, man. DMG, let loose. If you wanna know, we got a free band kid. DMG, let school. We got a kid, Bill. We got DMG, T Money. Let loose, what you want, guy? Shit, cool. How you coming, bro? Man, welcome to DJ UTV. It's definitely a blessing to have you. Man, uh, you, you really caught my attention some months ago, bro. I was watching uh, a, a, a video. It said, On the Couch TV. Oh, uh, yeah. Shout out, shout out to bro and them over yeah, there, bro. Shout out on the couch, bro. And, and, I, and I, as I watched that, I said, no, nah, we got to get him on the couch for real, folks. Funny <laughs> as hell. Hey, like, you know what's so crazy? When he reached out to me and said, On the Couch, I'm thinking, he was you on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> he brought the ass your name. Right. right. But uh, uh yeah, he man. Uh, his name. Def definitely an interesting fella, bro. Um, and you know, lately you've been you've been trending uh in the Chicago media, you know, for 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 some things we want to talk about today. Uh, but we want to start by uh getting to know you more, little dudes. Can you tell us where you're from? Um, same second and west, man. Cross west and same second. I teach the camera maybe where I put. You know, all through them blocks. I got a little 6300 in, in me though, you know, 63rd in California, Mozart, Richmond, and shit like that. I mean, 64. Right. 6372, 7, Right. Hey, so can you tell us though, like, what, 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 what was it like for you growing up? So, what, what do they consider that? That's uh, the southwest side of Chicago? Shit, we call it cross west. Okay. Shit, people say southwest. Mm hmm. Some of my words be saying, that's still our words. Right. No more. South side, it's a cross blaster. No, it's cross blaster. <laughs> yes, that's, that's it. That's it. That's cross blaster. You got it cross blaster because once you come from like climb on and shit, you get past climb on. That's a cross blaster. Mm -hmm. A block out of them car lots and shit. For so. For so. Lil Deuce, uh, around what time did you, you know, get outside and start hanging out across West? But like, nah. Ten, nah, I'm like folks when I was like eight, nah, and then uh, shit. Folks introduced me to all other bro, you know? You know? Yeah. I'm in Death Row. It was really me and Death Row like this. And then we we met folks together and start, you know, colliding with bro and shit. Okay. I understand Death Row is a is a uh oh, a twin friend. brother. Oh your twin brother? Yeah, best friend. Okay. Somebody that passed away. Yeah. What's up? Um, is that where uh the DMG come from? Yeah, that's your money game. Which okay. you know it's so great. Man, saying DMG like drugs, money, guns, deuce, money game. You could say it anyway, but that's your money game. When you're at the double G though, that's your money glitchy game, you know? Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. For sure that. So when you say you jumped off the porch around like age eight or nine, like what did no, that? Like nine, ten, I said. Okay, nine to ten. I'm like, folks are like eight. Same thing. I heard yeah. you. I heard you say I've been stealing from this store since I was eight. You was yeah. at the gas station on Seventy Second and Western. Yeah. 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 My people though, man, we locked in though. Yeah, we locked in. Yeah. I'd have been banned for that been fooled for that time. God, that was a child grew up. For real. Uh, yeah, phone on you try to pay the ass like, What he steal? Oh man, I got this shit, man. <laughs> got me back in. I'm fucked. And there been times when motherfuckers be stealing so much, motherfucker come. Come to the gas station, four, five motherfuckers, it's just me and folks out, because both of us got caught still, and we just sitting outside. So I can't go in. Because <laughs> y'all can't go in? Yeah. <laughs> What was y'all stealing out the gas station? Shit, yeah, just little shit, yeah, chips, yeah, candy, we were kids. Yeah, it's our hood, so we go, we go in that bitch taking whatever we want. We yeah. Have, they done a, they done a see us stealing shit. They just letting us go on. We ain't, they know. They gonna mm -hmm. listen to our. I'm you know, big building. They gonna listen, pay for that shit. Right, like, right. So I noticed that you uh, you 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 walk with a heavy limp. Yeah. I got shot, I got shot 11 times my whole life. 10 times at once and once another altercation. I ain't never got shot by no enemies or nothing though. All type of like, you no, know, just altercations and shit going on. You getting two or one for that shit like that, you know? Okay, that's that's- Public patience and it turns to something that wasn't supposed to be. Okay. 
But let's break that down, though. You say you'd have been shot on two different occasions. Yeah. Um, one time you had got shot 10 times. Yeah, first time I got shot, one time I showed. Then the second time I got shot. The second time I got shot, then I. Everywhere, bro. I'm going on. You know what's the crazy thing about it? I got shot, like, all the way. I ain't gonna say why I got shot, but I got shot, like, all the way in the suburbs. And it was like, I remember the day, like, it, like yesterday, it was a snowstorm. We was going to the bus for a situation, it was me and Detro. We get to the bus, that shit go on. He take me all the way to the hospital on 63rd and what was it? Was, uh, St. Bernard, he took me all the way to St. Bernard. In the middle of a snowstorm, I'm bleeding from 10 different areas. I'm on the car just go, go for I just remember folks that he crashed, they saying. Folks kept saying, um, the car slammed because there's snow outside. So the car slammed on the e-way. We get right there, he help, help and shit. I get that and there ain't no trauma unit us, so they had to take me to UIC. So I'm bleeding from different bullet wounds for like, for like 30, 40 minutes. Mm. Oh, no. 30 mm. minutes the, the least. No exaggeration. Oh, oh, no. You know, uh, Folks saved my life though. Yeah. Uh, you know, 50 Cent's claim to fame was being shot nine times and surviving. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you survived 10 shots. 11. 11. So you harder than 50 Cent. No, you know. It's just regular shit, you know? Some people. No, 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 no. That's not regular shit, brother. You feel? Yeah, I know, but I'm, you gotta get where I'm coming from. To me, on my world, it's regular shit. You okay. Know, like 50 Cent, I heard that shit was fake, though. I'll tell you. I don't know. What you mean? 50 Cent getting shot. That's what I heard. You feel like. Uh, you, that's why I heard. Right. I don't feel like. I don't know. 50 right. Cent, a real gangster to yeah. me. That was one of my favorite rappers. But no, I don't, I don't know if that shit was fake or not. That's what they said, though. But he a tough nigga, shit. Shit like that, you know? Yeah. I just, I just think it'd be like your time or it don't be your time. Right, right. You gotta be out plans for motherfucker. Right, right. I done beat the streets a lot of times. Right. So, but you say it wasn't by an enemy though. Like for you to be shot ten times, who, who? Some be- other shit, man. Uh, some words turned into a shootout. I ain't gonna okay. speak on that though. Okay, right. There's some words turned into a shootout. Like, Fish out the case, like, say me and bro in the store, me and I'm getting to a woo woo, out the band, it was too woo. Not niggas, right, I get Shit it. like that. Right, right. So let's talk about the surviving part, right? Uh, what, what what was recovery like? Man, I was in a wheelchair, I don't tell you shit. I was fucked up, man. Yeah. I had a catheter in my dick. I can't fuck for a minute. Like, my, like, no homo, like, my dick used to get hard, but, like, yeah, like, like my dick would get hard, but it hurt so bad. Like I was, I was in the ratio by the time I got shot. Like my girl, like I tell her to suck my dick, and it'd be hard, like so bad. So I tell her stop. It was to the point I was having another bitch and that washing me, like and uh, and not washing me up, but she flung with me and shit because she see what's going on. You know, my fucking that bitch, and she she see what's going on and shit. It was to the point she like, uh, your girl gonna come here today or I, I can wash you up. I was telling her to stop washing me up because every time she washed me up, my dick getting hot and that shit hurt you. So I'm telling her, hey, you can't be washing me up, little baby. Mm. So one day I just, fuck it. She start fucking. Got my nut up. I called my mama. I was folding them up. Fuck, I was born again. This motherfucker <laughs> work. Ain't you know what's so crazy? One of my homies been through the same thing, but one of the big bro in the meeting guy, he got shot 14 times though with a 762 and another type of caliber. But folks survived that shit too. His shit was just like man too on phone up. So when I called him, he was tweaking out me, you know, because he went through the same shit. So you needed people to help you take a bath? Yeah, this girl I was going with her name, Jada and shit. Mm. She didn't help me. Well, and one for her, like, you know, I don't even think I'd be back on my feet. She was motivating me, helping me walk up the stairs, taking me to physical therapy, all types. Mm-hmm. Real motivation. She a solid. She wanted to That's shout what's up. Data, yeah, shout out to her. Shout for sure. Data. For sure. And I like that you I like that you just mentioned that part because we uh we Man, Yeah, get- that girl used to be taking me. We going all the way downtown to the physical therapy. I'm in a wheelchair. She got it's just me and her. Then she know that I'm in the streets. I got Glock 50, swear she got the Glock doing the wheelchair, putting me in the wheelchair, taking me up, then taking me down. I'll tell you. 
Uh, you down there with supposed to marry that girl? Where she at? I'm still trying to marry that to this day. But I, I was saying, I'm glad you mentioned because uh, I think we we need to big up our uh, our black queens. You know what I'm saying? And give them their props because in yeah. most situations, yeah, that's, that's who that that's, that's who that. Yeah, that's one of the solidest girlfriends I ever had. Ain't you know what's so crazy part about it, like. That was my, that's my, my grandma, her grandma, best friend. Okay. Before. Our mamas was born, and then they was best friends, so we was call each other cousins. Right. Like, I always had a crush on her. Right. So one day, I just pushed my foot out there. Because mm -hmm. we ain't cousins. She was in the same way. Big school. <laughs> we ain't cousins. Oh, Big school, you know? Like, my sister still be playing with us today. Hey, cousin, sister. Like, tweaking that shit. <laughs> So, so God gave you a second chance at life, brother. Oh, yeah. Can you tell us um, when did you start um, like rapping? How did you get influenced? Yeah, to get I into ain't gonna lie. Like since a shorty though, like I ain't gonna lie. Like my big brother and them and shit, they used to always want me to rap. Like my cousin, them like motherfucker. <laughs> Probably if you like was like into music back then. They was hot. They from the low end. They called UFB. Them my cousins and shit. Like, they was fuck with Soldier Boy and shit. Okay. Like, they in videos and Soldier Boy and shit. Soldier Boy saying UFB and shit. Like, they used to bring me to the studio, but like, I get like, what's that shit called? Like, hey, yeah, I get nervous and shit. Like, they done bought me around. I forgot who it was. Some nigga that was some punk person and I done got froze up. I, what really made me take this shit serious, like, my homie Detro, like, he was raw as hell with rapping, but Folks was like a little shy motherfucker, like he won, like he won really into rapping without me. Like he done had hella songs and he ain't never dropped one of them until he did a video with me. And then when he did a video with me, that's when he started, you know what I mean? So it really took me to get him to rap. So I started rapping for him to rap, basically. I'm full up. He up. He always said, I ain't gonna lie. He got so much unreleased music, I'm finna be dropping that shit. He got some shit with that drawing up, having moved somebody outside. I think folks got, yeah, man, folks got this song with that joke, uh, Glocks. We got, uh, we got a lot of shit, though. Yeah. Okay. For sure that. And, um, you know, with your rap career, you seem to have a good relationship with Lil Zay Osama. Oh, yeah, one that's my brother, man. Yeah. Can you tell us about your relationship with, with Lil Zay? He's one of, I am at folks in, like, 2000, like, 13, 14. I've been... Like new folks though, but like really like like being around them and shouldn't have been around, but it was like like no really bond to like folks went to jam shit got out like cover like we had built like a real strong bond like 2015 first I was locked in with big folks that's his big brother bigger brother then we just locked in like that I've been knowing folks for over my whole damn life then I ain't even gonna lie folks a real solid nigga and folks ain't just like no folks gonna tell you the real I'm from them. Even if that shit gonna hurt your feelings or whatever. And he a solid ass nigga, 100. Like, folks big on loyalty, like, you know? Yeah. If you in the wrong, he gonna let you know you in the wrong. He don't care who it is. If it's right or wrong, probably me, though. He gonna pick right or right, or right you know? But other motherfuckers, right or wrong, he gonna put you out there. Even if I'm wrong, he probably don't tell you wrong. He gonna pull me to the side and let me know about myself. But yeah, you probably sure. Yeah. You know? Uh, how has he motivated you though as a as a rapper? Artist? I ain't gonna lie, every day folks be we be getting drunk round round. Like I just started drinking liquor and shit not too long ago and shit with folks and shit. Folks be getting drunk, telling me all type of shit, <laughs> pushing me. You know, folks be telling me I can get you a deal. That's quick. You just gotta keep going. Folks really want me to do a lot of songs by myself and shit. Like you know, I got a lot of shit with folks doing. I got a lot of shit coming though. But folks be yeah, he real motivation. I done seen him. Come from nothing. I was right there when folks bought his first AP, all type of shit. His mama crib, all type of shit. I ain't seen that shit, so I know how it feel for yo. Like to see that smile on your face. Like I'm one of the first that's like I'm real close. Like I know all his mama, daddy, uncle, nieces, nephews, everybody, his daughter, his daughter sons. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, so I didn't realize seeing folks. And you know, like no Hollywood shit, like still with you in the trenches, like no flying out of town, leave he still with you in the trenches, like Folks a regular nigga, like, you know? I'm from them folks a solid nigga, you know? And it's crazy how everybody look at folks like, like, niggas look at me the same way, though, I ain't gonna lie. Like, once niggas start seeing you going up and you come around and not even niggas, just bitches and everything, like, I got this bitch, I this bitch right now, I got her number, I don't know why I got enough for I tell her, yo, 
She just me who this is. I tell her, I don't know how I got your number and shit, but I got your number. I be talking to my female. I ain't gonna I'm single. I can do that. I got your number. I don't know I got your number. She oh, she called me two, three days later talking about her. Um, I ain't no fan and ooh, like some people like your cousin even tell you, like, boy, why you ain't like my picture? I ain't no fan of you. Like, what the f is you talking about a fan? Cause I ain't like what you make you think I'm a fan? Cause I'm going up. Are you making me think you you think I look at you as a fan? Hell nah, you still my cousin and brother. What the like, fuck? Fans is niggas I don't know. Motherfuckers that can't get around me. Exactly. If you sitting right here like this, you ain't no fan. Yeah, I understand the jealousy with this shit. The envy, like, oh, dub, like, motherfuckers, like, even when I start coming around, they motherfuckers get thumped up. My you Hollywood. What you want, can I get some money with you? And like, they yeah. said, I'm dub, my office get to see him. Like they seen his music videos, like mm-hmm. he say, he say, shout out blood in the music video. Now the same people that was saying this shit, saying it's raw day. This shit, we go out to them, we go out to, cause he fucking with us. Shit, mm-hmm. we didn't like yeah, 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 shit like that. Yeah. Like on dub, like then you gotta weep that envy and that hate, you know? Mm-hmm. On dub, mm-hmm. keep that shit from around, you know? Mm-hmm. Dub, nigga, if, if your own man says you think you too much, you know, on dub, be really hating, cause he no, seeing what you was doing, where you could take him off of, and he thinking you gonna leave him, but on dub, like, if you was really here, if you really here for a motherfucker, you ain't gotta worry about nothing that on mm-hmm. dope. Like, so especially sandbox, especially sandbox mm-hmm. babies. Like mm-hmm. there's a lot of certain niggas that like no matter like I I get into it with my brothers. Yeah, they be like like it's certain niggas like all my brothers, like we really love each other, like we love your bros. Like we could get into it with each other right now, call each other all type bitches, f each other dead people, see each other the next day. What Stay you on? Huh, roll up, bro. What you never bring that situation back up. Right. Like, fuck that shit. But like this my brother right here, like this my blood brother. Like this one of my like my closest friends, Detro and him. Like always since short me, Detro, him, Lil Jeff and Poppy. Them always us, you feel me? Yeah. And me and folks be having like we be bumping heads a lot, but we every day, like, we'll get into it right now, I'll call later. <laughs> what you on? Where you at? Shit, you ain't no shit, you a bitch, yeah. Just say you miss me, bro. Come to the crib, bro. What you wanna get out the drink? Come on, let's get, you know, shit like that. Well, my mother call you, my mother say, you acting weird or some shit. Man, your ass is soft as hell, man. What you, what you wanna perk or something, bro? Just pull up, you know? Uh-huh. Shit like that, you know? It's like real good. brothers, like, you know? Me and folks have real hard to hard conversations, like, oh, uh-huh. that, that ain't nothing. On the phone to my bed, I was sick, I would pull up with my bitch, what we call, look, he called me, my girlfriend, all that time. What Bill, that he acting weird, on oh, the what happened, man, mom? If you miss me, just say that. I'm oh, good. Yeah, folks he, he told me the truth. He, I miss you, folks. I'm folks be I can Folks be, you know, you know. Yeah. Now, well, it's just like a certain thing. Like when you your homie got a girlfriend and you don't got girlfriends, the weakest shit. Like oh this. yeah, it, okay, it is. It is. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> weakest shit ever. You damn gang. You can't. Where you at? Back. What you want? Oh shit, I'm going to go and kill my girl. Damn, when we just got out, you'll get out with him. Here, come pick me up. Yeah, pick you up. I was got the purse and everything. Here, give you the purse. You get groovy. Oh, yeah, we got her. Hey, pull out your wife for us. One more damn girl. I'm like, hey, yo, well, that's true. Now you mad. Stop it. Goof on the hook. Bitch, run your life. She ain't even when we come to the interview. Oh, Dubsy, I'm getting jazzed. He's there on Dub. I'm on my way. She talking about some lowly night. That's good. She lowly night on Dub. <laughs> she I ain't gonna lie, she asked you. Yeah. Um, dub, like, she does, you know? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid, solid yeah. bitches, solid yeah. bitches, yeah. solid yeah. women. Yeah. Solid women, there's a lot of solid women out there, though. I niggas be saying Chicago, I ain't gonna lie, it's like 80% hoes and 20% lo- loyal and faithful bitches. Like, you know, <laughs> uh, I ain't gonna say, look, I wouldn't even call a bitch, I wouldn't even call a bitch a hoe if she, like, Single and shit, like doing her and shit. She's single, but it's bitches that have a relationship. Like, bitch, I done seen more fuck. I done fuck bitches at home on my boyfriend called her, uh, Mill or Oh, tell her you or act like you're my brother. Like, I done seen bitches real life pull up. I'm finna bring you some food. Who you in the car? I'm in the car my boyfriend on FaceTime. I'll tell bro what's up the whole time. As soon as she come in, I'm finna grab that ass. Like, you know? That's crazy. <laughs> shit like that. In Chicago, this how that shit be on dope. Yeah. A bitch have a girlfriend on dope. But there's some loyal ones out there, though. There's some solid ones out there. These bitches got a boyfriend. They doing more fucking than you is. On blood, bro. They, they doing up like 10 dicks a week. On blood, bro. New dicks. On dope. That's how these bitches do it in Chicago. Mm-hmm. She out there. Yeah, she out there. She She out there. there. So I definitely want to tap in with you with, you know, what we've been seeing on the internet lately. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, It was a video that caught my attention of uh, apparently 
A guy named Bando KD yeah. stole Lil Zay Osama car. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Ain't going and was through. riding in it, listening to Lil Zay music. Yeah. KD, I know KD, he cool. I ain't nobody. But also, real shit though, that car gay, that's folks' car. I'm gonna keep it that way. Real fucking. But they ain't, we was in the studio when that shit happened though. They ain't even still a cop, folks. So little niggas like everybody in Chicago, everybody can like. Yeah, everybody can. You don't need like, you know, what's, let me see that. What that is, though, man? Like, kid. That one of his cop that he was riding around with. That man, kid. 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 That like I was saying though, um, motherfucker, I'ma show you though one though. Ain't, um, motherfucker, they ain't know that was a car. We was in the studio when that shit happened, man. Motherfucker just regular uh, see a fast car. They kicked that bitch up then when they went to the paper to Zay Cop. They sent the video to KD and I'm like, we got your ops car, how much y'all got for it? On seven deuce. And then they um then um they talking about um then KD uploaded the video, then when he went live, he was never inside the car. Zay Cop don't got no sunroof. There's one Zay Cop right now. One of my homies' uncle, he got his Maserati took by the same people, and he just bought the car back for fifteen hundred. So he just when he called us, telling us like, I can show you a video. Where my phone at? I can show you a video right now, motherfucker. In the car, I can show you a video, folks, on the e-way, and he see the car right here. He like, this the car right here. Like you feel me? He bought the car from the niggas back and shit. And then when we try to get the car, I guess they got some shit going on with my homie them and the birds. So when they when we try to get, you hear me? So when we try to get the cop back, they um they say um they talking about with the option shit, so we can't get it. Hey, what you want me to show? That probably old though, but them those we got that bitch like Yeah, we finna bulletproof that bitch anyway. That bitch finna be gone, man. And folks finna get paid off that shit. Look, let me show. Yeah, we ain't riding that bitch on those. That was the ops never was in that car game. Yeah. Look, they made themselves goofy. You see how Mimo bought the spark on that shit. Right. That's when they start exposing their hair. Like we ain't even had a car, no low or no garage. Look, you see me? I'm on Facetime with a motherfucker, right? Mm -hmm. Look, I ain't in the car right there. Look, <laughs> look. Oh, you feel me? Yeah. I could call the nigga right now. He go. I could call the nigga right now. He'll tell you like, yeah, uh, I bought my Maserati from them. That was not the option. Like, they ain't the option. Well, they chase the cloud. Man. Only thing they want to do is chase cloud. For you see, all day he playing Lil Zay music. He know all the songs. For he want to be us. For that nigga just made a remix to my song. Bro. Like, he want to be us, man. Back when that bitch dropped, he gonna say DMG Lil Deuce. I ain't gonna lie, he had a little cloud and a little wave and shit when I was booked. But when I got out and everybody know and see what's the real going on behind <laughs> these internet and shit, what's the real going on? Man, this shit not even going up no more, man. This shit not even getting. This shit probably like he getting like twenty thousand a month and shit like that. Fifteen k, thirty, forty thousand, two, three months. I'm getting hundred k a month. We dropped, we dropped, Niggas ain't fuck me. You see, they chasing off me, bro. My manager and them told me you don't never go live with their ass again. You ain't gonna never see them live with their ass again. That footprint we just dropped. That bitch one month ago. That bitch had a hundred twenty k already on dope. And we got some more shit on the way. A Deuce Curry tape, all that on dope. Yeah, we got dope. We on dope. We on dope. We shooting. Then we got a DMG bitch tape coming too. Oh, With a lot of songs from Todd on that, Detro, Poppy, T Money, Lil Scoon, Lil Mo, Ra. Oh, I'm talking about. Now, speaking of the word Scoom, I saw that you and MAF T Ski was. That's all I'm inventing. School adventure. Well, let me get my question off nah, real my quick. Bad. I just had to let that know. Okay, my bad. My bad. Nah, <laughs> cool. Adventure. Oh, look, I just got to keep that. Just take that first. So, so, okay, well, let's talk about the word school, man. It's the first time I think I heard the word school, I think it was like T. Roy. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. I did my history. I seen that shit, though. But when we made it, we ain't get it from him. It's cool. Yeah, he made school. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it like that. I'm going to keep it that way. He made Scoom, whatever, however he made that Scoom, Scoom shit, but I made Scoom, the Scoom we talk about. It's the meaning behind this shit. This four letters mean steady catch ops on the move. I made that. So I'm not going to be behind that. You feel me? That's what we mean when we say Scoom. Like, we've been saying this shit since, like, I'm going to keep it down while, like, 
Fulton have been saying this shit, but they ain't they, they ain't had no meaning to it, bro. The meaning came to it. Fulton been saying this shit like 2017 shit. Look the bar now, but the meaning behind that bitch came around. My homie, one of the older guys, Reese, he helped me with the meaning. I ain't gonna lie, me him and Detro. And he made, we made the meaning like 2019, 2020, before Detro died. This shit with Tiski, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, for. Ain't no smoke with them or none of that, man. I done, we done chopped it up like grown men. After that shit, they done called the phone, sent the number through. I'm explaining that situation with them like this. They told me exactly this. I can't do nothing but respect it. I'm a real nigga all the way. They told me that they homie dad May 25th, uh, 2021. They say before he died, he was saying in songs, like they let me hear a song. He said they called me Scoom and shit, some shit. He sang the song, but he died two months later and never dropped the songs and us, so nobody never knew. And the niggas in his hood, the niggas in his hood, that's why they texted me saying he never called himself school. I don't know where he came up with that shit. So he explained to me this is why they saying that, because they didn't know that, because they never got a chance to get out. He said he did his homework and we see we the real school. We coming at him aggressive. He said we could have um yeah. we could have um been schooled two times, this and that, made money off this shit and all this shit. He said I tell him like this, gang, if, if you feel like that, why you ain't reach out to me, you feel me? He said, the reason I ain't want to reach out to you because I ain't want to feel like a bitch because you, um, I made the little vlog and shit, stay saying school and shit, we're going to put the belt and all that shit. But I told him like, gang, you can't get mad at me, I'm in jail, little bro them, you know, they shorties, bro, they little bro them, they like 17 and shit, like 16. They get into it with they shorties and they shorties, that picture that they took on our block, that shit, how, how long that shit ago? That shit, oh. That shit like a year or two ago. So I told him, like, that's why I said it just like that, you feel me? Then he came to me and said, um, what did he say on the They sent me some songs to do and all type of shit, gang. Yeah. He said they never said they was the real school. They did their homework. They see what you said and all that shit. I told him, you gotta spread it like that. So when they reached out, we didn't chop like that. This thing like that. Um, we got. We chopped up. That's bro. No, they cool, man. We ain't never had nothing against the move. I just wanted to put my point across, cause yeah. all my homie now from New York be sending me shit like, gang. They talking about they the real big school and all the bitch. You know how the fans be shit. So I was just trying to put my point across. You feel me? Cause I ain't gonna lie though. He was watching my page and shit. Then I saw he put fast school call niggas. That's what I call my homie. Like using the same words. So I'm thinking like, you know, that's what fuck my head up. But look, he sent me three songs for mm-hmm. Get on, man. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be finishing that shit. Uh, all it is, all it was with that shit, you know, they had, they scorned, but they, you know, we got that real meaning to the score. They wasn't no, you know, on duck, now that shit, all the way in the wind, on duck. Ain't no beat, no score. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. So, y'all was, y'all was so they was able to squash the beef with like, him and uh, Tiski and Lil Z and all them niggas? Yeah, 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 y
we'll be at a video shoot. I'd be like, yeah, shoot this song. Nah, if I want to shoot this song, boy, nah, folk. That song, oh, I want to shoot that. Oh, it's going to keep getting old. Motherfucker, shoot the video. It's raw, gang. I, I know Mills. I know what they want to hear, gang. He, you feel me? They want to shoot what they feel like they want to shoot, you know? But like, that's niggas do. I do the same shit. Like, like, he was telling me to shoot this one song I made called Wake Up. On yeah, he, he just shot that recently. He was telling me to shoot that for so fucking long. On dope boy, so they get long. you in that mode. I'm I'm dope. Dope. I dropped that bitch. Um, I just shot the video for that bitch on the. I had niggas call me from jail. I'm letting them know I'm shooting the video. They, you a bitch, man. Why do I want to be in the video? You supposed to wait on it. But on the, I can't keep waiting on the. Y'all telling this what the people want. On the, it's all that's it. Yeah, yeah. gotta give it to them. On the. Yeah, that's, so that's how we come. That's how we approach this rap shit. That's you what's know? up. We gotta give it to them. We got a lot of shit though. Yeah. We gotta give it to them. But for the uh for the young men that's outside running the streets, you know, um we don't want them to get shot ten or eleven times. Yeah. We don't want them to go to jail. Have Hell to be no, in we don't want y'all to do none of that shit, bro. This shit ain't once you get in this shit, ain't no getting out this shit. Yeah. Don't never get in this shit. Man. Get it's cool to just be the nigga that hang with the niggas that do it and just get some money yeah. without rapping no neighborhood, but you 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 like, low, you cool like, everywhere. Like you a nigga that could go everywhere. Like it's to the point, like I some niggas that I know this that's Cool with me, but cool with niggas that I don't fuck with or tour with. But I got respect for him, and they got respect for him. And we know what type of nigga he is. We'll never tell him, hey, gang, you a bitch. Why you don't backdoor him from you? Or you a hoe. You hang with that nigga backdoor him from me. We want to come today. Like, it's cool to be that nigga and just fuck all the hoes and get one of these hoes like right pretty boys, like anyways. Boys, Basketball all, players and shit. That's what's up. The baby school and them, the baby like, I ain't know, I didn't see a lot of little bro. I, 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 I like, tell them rest up, little bro. Tell them I ain't gonna lie. Little bro was out, freaking. Little bro was 15, I ain't gonna lie. Like, 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 like mentally wise to be able to break shit down and let the like like get on this thing and tell us, look man, I done been through this shit, you know? Folks got up there, he he, he my age, folks got up there and spoke hard to her, you know, even I was KJ before that, his little brother. brother. So he break not on straight the whole speech, but he just telling nah, you. Like, 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 like you know, shit like I lost my little brother. I lost my little cousin, I just found out Tug was my cousin, he was fifteen. I'm like, I'm dope. Shit like that. Shit ain't all cracked up to what it be. Like, you get what I'm saying? I'm looking, I think the game bang shit cool, but on phone. You gotta get you some money on phone, you know, like Stay out the way. I'm done. That shit be coming with that legit. For sure. Well, man, I appreciate y'all chopping it up with us tonight, man. Uh, little dudes from Cross Western. You know, I've been, I've been trying to get this interview for a minute, man. So I'm glad yeah. you finally came and sat down with me. You got any uh, shout outs or closing remarks you want to leave the people? Man, shout out. Oh, DMG. Screw me, man. man shout out to the Shit, everybody that's fuck with me across Western, man. I West blood, nothing, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck them in the bird, three band game, man. Shout out 60 on it, man. Shout out to all the guys, man. You know what the fuck, bro. Oh, free four now, nah, free four four eight, free um uh, fast school, free limo, free jiggy, free auto, free school. Long let money, long let out. look, fuck it. Just free the scones, long live the scones. But there you have it, man. Lil Dudes, DJ UTV, shout out to Word to Productions. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Find that word, Shout out DMG and that motherfucker. Hey, tell Zay he got his own shit on the couch next, man. You know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wheelchair, DOD, Michael Drake, DOC. This is just a piece of game with that life. I can't even walk it. Oh. Oh. DJ, you go crazy.